Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Just wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers as I do in every video because every video there's new subscribers. I can't believe how fast you guys are coming on board here. This is this is great. So um, yeah, if there's anything that you guys want to see uh, as far as trailers or if you have any trailers um, that you want me to review, just, just send them to me. I get, I get trailers emailed and sent to me every day via messenger or whoever. I mean, just whatever. If, you, if you're sitting on something and you want me to talk about it, Go ahead, send it my way. But yeah, so anyways, thanks guys. Um, subscribers are awesome. The trailers you guys keep sending me are awesome. It's just, it's good times. Good times here at Happy Wax TV. So anyways, today, uh, this is a movie that I got sent to me. Uh, it's called Boar. And um, okay, when, I, when I first got it, I read the synopsis. Do you know what I mean? And it's um, basically, it's just about, the synopsis just says it's about a giant pig. Or bored, you know what I mean? And I thought, well, how good is this movie going to be? And then I saw who was in it, and I also saw who directed it. So um, I'll tell you what, let's let's watch the trailer first because I've been dying to watch this thing, and then we can talk. As you all know, I like to ramble, or we can ramble on about this thing after. So because it's got um, a really good director, and it's got some pretty uh, pretty awesome cast members in here too. A couple. Uh, legends but anyways okay let's watch this the movie's called boar and uh we'll talk about it after okay cabin fever is officially set in i suggest the next town we come to we pull over and get some grub good idea sounds great Tearing the fences down there is all Patterson's farm, man. He's found a few sheep too. Huh? Something's killed them, yeah. Well, what all nine of them? <laughs> There's nothing out there except dust and ruse. That's a load of shit, Ernie, and you know it. <gasps> you remember that smash up on the highway coming into town, right? About 12 months ago? They couldn't find the couple. All the police found was the wrecked car. <laughs> I was driving back from Bob's place in my truck and I saw something in the paddock about three or four hundred metres off and I hit the spotty on it. It was a boar. Well, I just wanted to say thanks to uh, Martin for showing me that or sending that into me because holy Christ, does that ever look good? Um, okay, so I have a, a fond or a fondness of, of horror movies from around the world. I think you all know this. I love Japanese horror. Um, you know, the, the Spanish are doing really well. The French put out kick ass movies, the Germans, and the Australians are, are kicking ass too. And this is an Australian movie. And I'll tell you, I, I've seen a few Australian movies, um, Red Billabong being one of them, and that movie was, was, I thought it was fantastic. So, but this this movie, okay, so, wow. Okay, where do I start? Okay, so the director, Chris Sun, um, he, uh, well, I mean, as soon as I saw that name, I recognized it, and I looked him up just to see where I, I, I got it from. Now, he's done a couple movies. Um, his, his first movie he was uh, directing was called Come Get Me, 
which garnered rave reviews um, on the independent circuit. And then he followed it up with Daddy's Little Girl. But the, the, the movie that I saw that he did um, was this last one called Charlie's Farm. And that movie is fucking crazy. If you haven't seen Charlie's Farm yet, find it and, and watch it. You guys, you guys will love it. But aside from Chris Sun, are the other names that are in this movie. Now I'll start off with Nathan Jones. Um, he's the big kind of muscular guy. Um, he was in Fury Road. Um, he's also, if you, if you don't know who he is, he was in Troy. I, he only had a small little part, but he is the, the big muscular guy that comes out to fight uh, Brad Pitt's character and then Brad Pitt kind of stabs him in the neck. Um, he's also been in the new Conan movie. Um, we won't hold that against him. So, but he's just, he's a recognizable face and he's, he's in this movie. Um, now, the other names, and these guys, I mean, okay, so first of all, let's start with, with Bill Mosley. Um, I don't need to even tell you who that is. Um, the guy is a fucking legend. He's been in, I don't even know how many movies. Um, he's uh, Otis in Thousands of a Thousand Corpses and, uh, and Devil's Rejects. If you don't know who he is, he's been in Halloween. He's been in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. He's just Z Nation. He's just, the guy is everywhere, and he just kills it every time he's on screen. Now, the other three names... First off is John Jarrett. Uh, John Jarrett, you may know his name, you may not, but he is Mick Taylor from, from Wolf Creek and Wolf Creek 2. Those movies are fucking awesome. And he, he's kind of like the bad guy in the movie. My God, when I, when I saw him in this, I was like, wow, this, this just, not only did that movie look good, but it just amped it up because I love him, man. He is such a good fucking actor and he made Wolf Creek uh, one and two it. The great movies that they are. His, his character in that was just phenomenal. And then there's a couple legends. Um, not that these other guys aren't obviously Bill Mosley. Is, they're all legends. I shouldn't have said that. But these guys, I mean, we're going way back here. Okay, so first is uh, Steve Bisley. Um, you may not recognize his name, or you may. I don't know. But he has been in The Big Steel, The Great Gatsby, just to name a few movies. But for all of those who, who love the Mad Max series, um, he was Goose in, in the original Mad Max. And when I saw his name in here, I thought, wow, that is fucking phenomenal. And then not only is he in here, but Roger Ward is in here too. Um, he's been in Quickly Down Under, but he also, again, was in Mad Max and he played Fifi. Um, you know, the, the, the big uh, um, kind of muscular, burly, bald kind of police captain. So, I mean, we've got a, a lineup of of just awesome legends in this in this movie um, Wow <laughs> like now the only thing that that kind of sucks is um, there's no release date yet it comes out I believe it comes out in August in Australia um, and I'm sure it's gonna do the rounds at the film festivals this year and stuff and I have no doubt that it's gonna get picked up because the trailer looks fucking phenomenal and you have got a, a, just a ton of fantastic actors in this movie and actresses too um, Wow, I, I honestly can't wait to see this movie. It looked fucking great. Um, yeah, and it's, I don't, they don't really say really what's, a lot what's going on other than there's a giant boar ravaging the countryside. Maybe that's all the movie's about, I don't know. And these guys are just trying to protect themselves, but I don't know how it got to be that big. Like there's, uh, the, the, what makes this trailer good is they, they give enough away to keep you interested, but they don't give too much away so that you know exactly what's going on. And I'm definitely curious as to how and why this, this boar is so big. Was it like a science mutation gone wrong or, or who knows what? So, or it's just a freak of nature. But either way, it's killing these guys left, right, and center. And it's, it looks like it's going to be a pretty bloody battle to the end. So I would consider this a creature feature. Um, you know, this, this thing is fucking, it's a giant fucking boar with tusks on the side of it. So I don't know, man. I can't wait to see this, especially after seeing Charlie's Farm. Chris Sun. He knows how to direct, man. So, and you've got all these great directors. So, wow. Um, again, it's coming up in Australia first, and then after that, I'm not, I'm not sure when it's going to come, come to Canada and the U.S. But um, make sure you join up the Happy Wax TV on Facebook, and I will re uh, post the release dates when they come available. And also, once again, I just wanted to say thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, keep sending me these trailers in. Um, I go looking for them once in a while, but you guys send me so much stuff. Uh, it, it's crazy, so I just kind of pick and choose what I think is going to be the best of the bunch, and uh, you know, I sit here and talk about it. So, but yeah, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for sending in these trailers. Keep them coming, guys. Let me know what you think about this movie down below, and as always, stay scared.